Hi guys, so today's video is very exciting and this video was highly requested. No, it wasn't requested at all. Just kidding. Nobody requested this video. I just thought it would be very nice of me if I do a comparison of two foundations that are right here, brand new on the market, and those two foundations are L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation and then the Fit Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Those two are in the stores right now, they both claim to be matte, um, and they are different in the price. So. This one, it costs $8.29, at least at my CVS. And then this one is $13.29. So I tested out them both on my face today. I have this one, on the half of my face, I have this foundation. And on the other half of my face, I have this foundation. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte claims to have a medium coverage, have an air light texture, and last for 24 hours. And the finish is de demi matte finish, never dull, never flat. This one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And this one claims to mattify and refine pores and has natural seamless finish as well as matches natural skin tone. Like I said, I have both of them on my face right now. On this side of my face, I have this one. On this side of my face, I have this one. They are different in the price. For those of you that are wondering which one is better, which one you want to spend your money on, um, I have the answer. I test them, them out, both. And you have to watch my video all the way to the end to find who the winner is. I wanted to do it especially for the people that can't afford two of the foundation and in the reality, why do you even need two of the foundations? You want a matte foundation or a matte foundation if you need a matte foundation. So you can pick either a little bit more pricey or a little bit less pricey and see which one matches your skin. So stick around with me till the end and I will tell you who the winner is. Okay, so let's get to business. On this side of my face, I'm going to apply the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Infallible. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then on this side, I'm going to do the Fit Me Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. A little bit about my face. My face is more on a dry side. It's not oily at all. If anything gets oily, it's my T-zone. Um, during the winter time, it's pretty much dry, normal dry skin, not oily. So that's why I want to see if they dry out any of my face or we'll, we'll see how this, the whole thing is working. Like, which one is worth the money? And before I start, I do not have any primer on my face. I don't prime my skin. The primers are breaking me out. That's why I never use them. So I am not going to use it today either. Um, I'm just gonna pour this on my hand and the shade already looks uh, a little dark <laughs> but what can you do and with my sponge I'm just gonna start applying it well so the shade doesn't really match me it's a little bit darker than I am right now um, but it's applying actually very, very nicely. I want to cover the side of my nose just because that's where I usually get oily and I'm not really going to set this with any powder either. I didn't pick up the powders because I really don't need to set my foundation with anything since my skin is on the dry side anyways. So it blended out really, really nicely and it's not sticky at all. It's actually dried out already. It does claim to be 24 hour wear. So obviously I'm not going to wear it for 24 hours, but it's dry. It's crazy. Well, it's matte and it's dry and it covered up all my imperfections with and evened out my skin tone. So, so far so good. Let's try the other side with Maybelline. This one feels more hydrating, more like... Uh, like kind of a little bit more wet, wet, wetter than the other one. I feel like this one matches my skin tone a little bit better. So what I've noticed right away, this side doesn't really match my skin. This side matches my skin a little bit better. The L'Oreal side, uh, it dried really, really quickly and it's not sticky. It's just dried and matte right away. I definitely don't need to set it with any powder. Um, blend out really really nicely and then this side as well it blended out really nicely it covered all my imperfections just with one uh application 
it was a little bit more hydrating I would say and it's I feel a little bit I mean it's not dewy but it's just a has a little tiny little bit of uh, not shine it's just like a so I will be back it's really early in the morning so I'll be back in six or seven hours before the Sun goes down and then we'll see the results we'll see which one is worth the money so both of the foundations are holding up really really well I did not put a primer as I said it before I don't put primers on my skin and I also didn't touch up my skin throughout the day I didn't put any powder over it it is what it is and it's still matte both of them did a really really good job so let me tell you about the differences between those two first of all they're different in the price thirteen dollars eight dollars secondly uh, the color payoff even though they have the same shade which is natural beige this one was a little bit thicker consistency and it was a little bit more yellow and it didn't really match my skin this one was a little bit on the wet side I would say even though it dried out matte uh, but I was when I was applying it it was a little bit wet wetter and the shade matched me a little bit better this one claims to be demi matte and medium coverage I would say it is matte at least on my skin <laughs> and it's medium to a full coverage Maybelline on the other side I would say it's a medium coverage the color payoff was way better the shade matched my skin tone a little bit better so the final verdict who's the winner who's the winner it really is just your personal preference my personal choice and personal preference would be this one because it's more affordable and it has a little bit better shade collection I have to have a little bit of a sheen or a little bit of that glow and I'm not saying that this one's giving you a glow it's just a little bit more hydrating so this is my humble review I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know which foundation do you have and which one do you like if you own any of them let me know what your thoughts are on it I really enjoy doing reviews and I feel like I kind of live in CVS now or Walgreens because I'm there all the time so if you like watching reviews or you want to see more videos from me then please subscribe thank you so much for all your support and I will see you guys in the next video and in the shade I would say it's a medium I would say the I would say the medium, I would say it's the medium coverage and